2021, this bill whilst is recording. Well, with certain situations, it, it's hard yeah. to get together to really film. Because yeah. I, I generally do want to beat KHDDD. <laughs> yeah. But we're here tonight, and I'm probably going to beat it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, like, we also had, like, school and the fact that there was a pandemic. I mean, it's still going on, but, like, it's... Like, most of the people, everyone that we've interacted with is pretty much, like, clean. Like, yeah. Um, so we were like, hey, let's, let's record. Oh, jeez. Yeah, ignore the crust. It'll we're, be fun on it. We're end. also technically still on break, so. Yeah. Okay. Ready. Let me turn it down <laughs> a little bit. Uh, I just, I mean, turn it down for us, not for the audience. Yeah. So that way we can, like chat. Because it, it, in general, this is a kind of a chill let's play since... Mm -hmm. I mean, I I know about uh, the, the game, and you watched it for the cutscenes. Yeah. So we can just, like, chat about things. Yeah, we can just chill and chat. Yeah. Oh, like, jeez. I said the control- There we go. Like how our country's fucking falling apart tonight. Wait, let's let's forget about this. <laughs> let's and, forget about that. <laughs> let's just forget about that and just look at Riku. Anyways. Um, doom scrolling earlier. Lots <laughs> of doom scrolling. Pretty much. We were talking- We were talking a good bit about, um- old, like, 1980s or, like, 1990s stuff. I don't know. Me yeah. and Chelsea were just, like, watching, like, a bunch of, like, abandoned stuff or, like, what if things. Like, yeah, I, I, like, like uh, abandoned mall stuff. I and... love it. It's... Oh my god, my mom. <laughs> She's like, what color is my car? <laughs> what? I'm just gonna send her, like, let's, I'm just gonna send her a selfie. Like, okay. let's just look very judgmental at her. I just want to play the game. <laughs> I just want to play video games. <laughs> I, I just I just generally want to have a good time with my boo Riku, with my second favorite Kingdom Hearts game, second or third I don't know. I'm thinking about Birth by Sleep again, and I I don't know. It's hard. I mean I always know that Kingdom Hearts two is always gonna be my fave. I forgot. <laughs> Wait what? Sp who's in trouble? Oh no, one of my dream eaters is in trouble. <laughs> I will save you, my little buddy. Oh no, you're pseudo Pokemon. No! I know, pretty much. We were also talking about Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. Like our favorite Pokemon would be each like type of different. It's so starters. difficult. Rescue! Don't touch me! Oh god, I'm gonna die. Like how it's the 25th anniversary of Pokemon this year, so we're hoping for some uh, some uh, Gen 4 remake news. I'm just I I'm just curious like what's going to be of uh, Pokemon this year because they yeah. they got to do something pretty good for it. Also, I died, so apologies for that. It's been a good while since I played DDD. Oh my god, my mom's like, yes. What color? <laughs> what color's my hair? <laughs> Mother, I know the color of your hair. <laughs> oh my god, that is the funniest thing of Final Night. <laughs> I keep forgetting that Beluga is one of the most strongest abilities in this game. It's a good thing I'm not playing this game in, like, prod mode, because I generally don't know this game a whole bunch, like it did with, like, Kingdom Hearts 2. Which, with my future Kingdom Hearts the Let's Plays, I'm going to be playing all of them in the critical mode, just for that extra intensity of difficulty. And I remembered that I have to do all the data fights in critical mode in 2, and I'm like... Right, I gotta do that, but I'll feel pretty accomplished afterwards. Yeah. Also, what I'm really excited about this year is the the Worlds of View sequel that's coming out this mm -hmm. year. See how how see how this all circ circulates back to Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah. Which it looks great. Have you seen the trailers for it? Yeah. It looks great. I'm very much excited for it. I'm like, it's gonna happen eventually one day. And, and there's a there's a new main character, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. It's a sequel game. Yeah. I think it's the sequel or a prequel, it's not 100%. Or is it like a remix? Because Nomura loves remixes, huh? No, no, no. no. I, I think it's either a prequel or a sequel. I okay. I forgot which one it is. I but think it's a sequel. Yeah, it's a sequel. You know what's really funny about the main character's design? He actually designed the character before the whole pandemic started because yeah. the main character wears a mask. He, he wears a mask around his chin. Nomura. He's passing on the good message even before he even Although knew it! Although us weebs will know that's like commonplace in Japan. Yeah, but it, it's just like so convenient. I, I know it's very commonplace in Japan, but it's just like at the same time when you think about it, it's like convenient. Also, it's taking very hard to beat these dream eaters. Or nightmares. They're called nightmares. Or dog. I can eat it. My god, these things are powerful. There I go. I'll just use one of my dream eater. Oh, come back. Let's not die again. 
I should probably switch up my Keyblade, even though I like using the basic Keyblades for this. These are so strong, holy crap, boo. Okay, stop, so okay. I'm kind of going off on my mom, just telling her, like, every, like, every, uh... Detail of like, her life. question she would ask me if she was wondering if it was actually me on the other end. Oh my god, that's funny. On today's episode of Dream Jump Distance, Chelsea dishes out her mom. <laughs> Gone wrong. <laughs> she, she was like, "What?" Uh, I sent her a selfie of me and Rachel sitting here playing Kingdom Hearts, and she's like, uh, "She's like, what color is my car?" And I'm going off on her. I'm like, "It's green. <laughs> it's green." My boyfriend's n name is this. He's this. In the, he, he's this rank in the military. My D and D character's name is Casimir. What do you want? <laughs> what more can I say to you, mother? <laughs> that is hilarious. I may need to switch up keyblades because. I don't know if I'm under le level, but I think I'll be fine. Today's recording will be hopefully the last. Which is kind of bittersweet, since this series has taken so long to be done with, but you know what? It's fine. It's a. It's a. be a special one. <laughs> My god, can you please die? These are the most toughest dudes in the world. Okay, thank you. Heal, heal. Where is everything? I think it is. The games are hard. Oh my god, please! <laughs> Go, bye. Goodbye. Gravity strike! Oh yeah, Legend I forgot also Legend of Zelda's anniversary is this year too. Yep. 35th anniversary? 35th. Dang. Crusty. Which it is weird to think that Zelda's only 10 years older than Pokemon. That's true. Cause that came out in the 80s. Yeah. Yes. 85. 85, yeah. Pokemon was 95. Yeah, yeah. Where I go? Oh, there he goes. Please! Oh my gosh! Man, Pokemon's 25 years old. It's only like a couple years older than me. <laughs> Are there two of them? Come on! Pokemon's only one year older than me. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're like two years old. Yeah, you're two years yeah, old. Yeah, you're- the, you're- I'm 22. Wait. Yeah, you're only a couple months older than my brother. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, please! Which is weird, because you graduated before him. Yeah. But, well, because I graduated at an early age. I, gra I graduated when I was 17. Yeah, yeah. same. Because I know most people graduate high school sometimes at the age of 18. Because us, us September babies uh, were born before the cutoff. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Why did I do that? Okay, I'm gonna save so I don't have to burst any of those ever again. I forgot it goes by, like, DS controls, because it used to be on the DS. Yeah. Alright, where my dream meter's at? Okay, now we can go forth with... This area. Uh, speaking of uh, oh my gosh. video game ports, uh, I was reminded the other day that Breath of the Wild is technically a port of a Wii U game. That's true, yeah, because in, it, it was announced in uh, E3. No, yeah, E3 of 2014. I think so. Yeah, yeah, because it was that. It was like, look at this. And he snapped his fingers well, like graphics. <laughs> No, maybe it was 2013. No, 20. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah either 20, 20, 2013, and I think uh, it was either. I think it was 15 where they actually had the first trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it got delayed a couple of times, but that's okay. Yeah. Because it, it was supposed to come out in 2016, but then it came out in 2017. Well, didn't it come out 2016 on Wii U for a couple of months, and then like it did. It, oh, it was, and then it was April of 2017. Right. Uh, when Breath of the Wild actually came out on Switch. Mm-hmm. Let me see, what, when did, let me look up and see when the uh, Breath of the Wild came out in the Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Am I just sucking? <laughs> I'm not doing the grass, gr grass, I can't even speak. I'm not doing the greatest, I'm just gonna switch up my Oh keyboard. no, it didn't come out April of 2017. It came out, uh, March 3rd of 2017. Mm. Um, let's see. Let's do that because I liked it. Oh no, I was wrong. It came out March 3rd on the Wii U and on the Switch. Yeah. Yeah, because I knew- I think it got delayed because they were fixing you up for the Switch. Uh, port. My mom's reaction. Well, okay. <laughs> I, I, I think I got my point across. There we go. What the heck, phone? Oh my- okay, you know what? I'm just gonna run. I'm getting out of here. I just want to advance the plot. You get the most notifications out of anyone I know, but that's probably because you have like a uh, like a whole Discord server. Yeah, I do. I have a Discord server. I have a Twitter, which I use my YouTube stuff for. Yeah. There we go. That's a more effective Keyblade. There we go. 
Oh, by the way, if you want to uh, post the commission you did for me, like on your art Twitter, you, yeah. could, you could totally oh, okay. do that. okay. I didn't know. You could totally do that. Like, I didn't know. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure it's like something you were super proud of, which you totally did. <laughs> Thank you. You Jesus totally Christ. Me, so go ahead and post it. Okay. I'll, I'll reblog it. Because I just, like, I adore that. I'm so glad. If, uh, I'll post a picture on screen somewhere. I, it was for a Secret Santa, and I got Chelsea for a Secret Santa. Yeah, so she, she painted my, my D&D character, which I, like, if anyone simps for their OC as much as I do, yeah. like, <laughs> I'm a simp for my OC. I am too. That boy lives <laughs> rent-free in my head. <laughs> um, and so she, yeah, she drew my, uh, my, uh, tiefling, uh, D&D character, Casimir. But the thing is, you drew him... Parody parodying uh fall uh, is fallen angel I think is the name of the painting yeah yeah which is like top five one of my favorite paintings it's and really you, funny because I didn't even know that you I just had guessed. no idea yeah. it was one of my favorite paintings although like that painting like uh, it's a really pr who pointed painting. it out like someone at the party was like every gay person loves that painting I, I don't know who who said that at the party but <laughs> it was it's so one true of them. yeah yeah but they're so right they're very much right <laughs> what the heck is Tris wait lunch is three bolts. Okay, we'll do that one. Beluga yeah. is good. I, I was like three these. shots deep at the party, and like I, the, you, <laughs> you were just like, oh! I, I, fell, I fell out crying on the floor. That was like, so as, funny. as I opened that present, I was you're so like, happy. You're like, you're oh! <laughs> like, it was so great. And like anyone who comes over to my house, like, I show it to them. I'm just like, look I at feel, this. I feel honored. <laughs> look at this phone. <laughs> it's hanging above my uh, my vinyl player, <sighs> so it's like it's always within view. I'm so happy. <laughs> How come I didn't have so many things not equipped? I'm so happy. <gasps> pog. Pog. I, <laughs> now that's a pog moment. Okay. I want to get to somewhere. I don't know. Uh, this is embarrassing. I'm in standard mode. This is embarrassing. Oh yeah, those, those Twitch chats are like moving super fast and like half. That, that was like you like, and your brain. Like, like half half of the half of the uh, it, it, everyone's just like spamming poggers in the chat. Like that was my brain when I saw. Pog pog pog. <laughs> I love that so much. Please, I just want to proceed because I really like the plot of this game. I just want to move forth because I've been in this area for like five minutes trying to beat up everybody. So I don't think I'm under leveled, I don't think. I'm trying to think. Oh. Oh, okay, you have to slice. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> that happened. Don't you block with your. Please. Okay. Don't hurt me. Oh, don't. Stop! <laughs> Blunga! Brebeging! I'm just a little bunny rabbit. I want these as plus- <laughs> Please don't turn me into a marketable plushie! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I love that meme. Oh no. Oh no. Don't turn me into a marketable plushie. <laughs> Please. Oh my god. Okay, thank you. Let's push seed. Speed up this disco ball. <laughs> I completely forgot about this thing. Blunga! He shot at me! <laughs> oh, oh Jesus. Okay. My chains! That's what you have to do, okay. The Game Blade, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> no, literally that's what the fandom calls it, oh the Game Blade. Because it's shared by Sora and Riku. <laughs> also, because there's like tons of like, like sparkles Rainbow. and yeah. rainbows everywhere. Yeah. That was like, they, Jesus, lasers. They, they, know, they knew what they were doing. They knew. They knew that, oh wait, shoot, what the heck? Yeah, I played this game only once, so <laughs> some things I'm slowly remembering. Yeah. It's not your most revisited King of Hearts. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> sudden death. <laughs> the lace shirt just about to attack my back. Yeah. Also, I already got. Oh my god! Okay. It's so funny in video games when like you pause to like look at a menu or um, or you open a chest and everything around you pauses and then like you as it's paused and you're getting like attacked is like it's the funniest thing in games to me yeah i love it too like one time i was oh, playing shoot. one time i was playing skyrim and like i was at uh the lakeview uh house yeah. and i was like i was I, did, I just left i had just left uh the mansion and, uh -huh. like um it's like in this forested area it's near um oh god what's the name of it? it's been a long since i played skyrim uh fuck. <laughs> Now this is gonna bother me. Um, I don't know. I was anyway. I was near like Manor. Oh my it's, God, like, it's a super episode. forested area. Uh huh. And uh, in Skyrim, like you see like deer like running everywhere all the time. And so like I left the manor. And uh -huh. I was getting attacked by um, 
Oh, dang. I forget what I was being attacked by. I was being attacked by something outside my house. And then as I paused it, like, I went into, like, the menu. You could see a deer running from, like, outside of the frame. <laughs> Like it's about to hit me. It's like literally one of those like Eric Andre show moments where oh it's like gosh. we'll be right back. <laughs> du, 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 it was du, exactly du, du, like du, du. that. It was so like I put my switch down because I was laughing so hard. I love that so much. Oh, no, there's a chest. Okay, Falkreath. That's the name of the, <laughs> the town. There Jesus. you go. Now you got it. What the heck's down here? As soon as I stopped oh. thinking about it, it came. To me. <laughs> See, that's the that's the greatest moment. But yeah, I need to get you playing Skyrim. Yeah. We're we'll, we're gonna do a goof off of it in the future because yeah. I generally do want to play Skyrim for fun. I'll buy it for you because I was actually intending on buying it for your birthday, but I've never got around to it. And also, like, uh, I wasn't doing well around September. Yeah, I wasn't either. <laughs> None of us were doing well. I don't know why September was the month of like. Yeah. Because <laughs> I remember y'all actually did like hang out for your birthday, I think, but I was just like, y'all, I'm not okay. No, yeah, that's, I that's, cannot come. <laughs> that was totally fair. I, I totally understood that. Yeah, but I was gonna get you Skyrim for your birthday, so yeah. I'll, just, I'll just buy you Skyrim. Yeah. Because I, I, it seems really fun to play. And like people, uh, like who I talked to you about, like, got it. They're like, uh, oh, like how many hours have you been Skyrim? I was like, uh, like 1500 and they're like wow that's a lot of hours uh what do you play it on and i was like switch and they're like what <laughs> <laughs> you played 1500 hours of skyrim on the switch <laughs> here's the thing i've been actually wanting it to kind of get it on pc i don't know i mean i would be fine with the switch version too. oh yeah like you like you can get it on pc totally um because mods because <laughs> mods like I think honestly, Skyrim Play is the best modding community. Cause I think so. I've seen a lot of funny ones. There's so many mods for that game. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, <laughs> like literally, the what? Skyrim modding community—they literally remade um, Morrowind and Oblivion Hilarious. In, in Skyrim's engine. <laughs> So, um, definitely, shot. like, I, I own it on PC, I just haven't started modding it yet. Uh-huh. Um, because my boyfriend yelled at me for not playing it on some PC. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you playing it on the Switch? Because it's the... honestly comfortable. I, I, and you can take it on the go. <laughs> it's portable Skyrim. What are you talking about? Exactly. And, I, and it's a special edition, which the special edition actually isn't that bad. Isn't it like they have, like, Legend of Zelda, um, skin for it, for the Switch yeah. version? If you have Amiibos. <laughs> Ah, you, you, I only have a Kirby one. You unlock that stuff with Amiibos. Um, really? And the thing is, it's not even like a skin, it's like an outfit. Right, right, So yeah, you have this like, uh, this real, <gasps> it's, it's like a Kingdom Hearts like effect where you have this like realistic, uh, like person face and then you have like this like Legend of Zelda outfit. <laughs> See, on I like to imagine it as like Super Smash Bros. Bra when that game looked really like more edgier and it kind of had like a semi-realistic look to it. That's why I think about it when I see mm. that skin. Yeah. Because Brawl had, like, a more m muted color scheme, while yeah. the other, Bra like, Super Smash Bros. games have, like, a very, uh, bright, saturated color scheme. Not even saturated, just, like, a brighter, uh, color scheme. And I say realistic, because there it's, like, at the time, well, even not at the time, Skyrim didn't have the most, like, realistic graphics. Yeah. But, um... Isn't that game super glitchy, too? No, actually, well, like, okay, so there's some glitches. Yeah. But a lot of them were fixed with the special edition. Yeah, sure, you still get glitches here and there. Of course, like any kind of video game, it gets <laughs> like any kind of game would get like mm -hmm. glitches. But you you don't definitely don't see them as much as the last time. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. For like Xbox and like PlayStation Three, I can't even imagine how oh, those yeah. run nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, there's not as many on special edition. You do get them sometimes, and sometimes they kind of suck to get rid of. Yeah. Uh, like there's this one glitch where like I forget what causes it. I don't, I don't even know if I figure out what causes it. Mm -hmm. Where you'll get like shot shot up with arrows, and then the arrows won't disappear. Oh and wow. And so you're you're like a porcupine just still so with strange. Um. But yeah, and that sucks because I had that happen once <laughs> on one character. Um. But yeah, like, there's not as many glitches as, as there used to be. That's good. But yeah, but the biggest draw for me, um, for Skyrim on the Switch is that it's portable. Yeah, yeah. Because I like to, like, lay in bed when, when I play video games and I'll have a TV in my room. Right, yeah. And so I like to just, like, have my laptop there with, like, YouTube or a podcast in the background. Yeah. And just, I'm, like, laid back on my bed just, like, 
with the switch like this close to my face. Yeah, you're just like, ugh, video games. Immersion. It's funny, even even when I have like a TV in my room, I'm like, I'm too lazy to like yeah. get up and like sit and play video games. I'd rather just lay down and play Animal Crossing, you know? Yeah. Also, I have Deadly Premonition too. <laughs> I'm very excited to play. I, I, I want to let's play the first game on my channel, and then I'll play- I'm gonna play the second one. Because I have a lot of video games I want to play this year, lined up. Because I'm gonna play the Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, this year. Oh, I need to, uh, there were some events in Animal Crossing that I, ha I hadn't played yet, like the Christmas one. The Christmas one was really New cute. One. It was cute. Um, the New Year's one was so cute, oh my god. I haven't played them yet, so I'm gonna- That's like... how I celebrated New Year's. <laughs> I oh. was like, yay, Isabel, Tom, like, everyone! <laughs> so I'm gonna rewind the clock and, like, do all that. But what I really want to do is I want to update my dream code because I need to show y'all oh, yeah. my uh, my winter wonderland like uh, yes. town. Like I I spent so much time collecting snowflakes and ornaments, recipes, and all that. Yeah. So like my town is like all done up for uh, Christmas, and it's really really and like you know the ice arch DIY. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so in the, like, uh, like the garden area, uh, in my town, right in front of Cherry and Olivia's house, uh -huh. in the walkway leading towards their houses from the beach, uh, what I did is I made, like, a ton oh, of, uh, I made a ton of ice arches, and I made them all different colors, oh, and so nice. it's like a rainbow <sighs> arch path, uh, and then the two rainbow colored Christmas trees. Uh, Every day is Pride Month. <laughs> yeah. Every day is Pride Month at Chelsea's Island. And then I also, I have all of the snowflake DIYs, and so what I did oh, nice. is that instead of making a, a, a library near the... Um, yeah, because you're struggling to make that for a while. <laughs> yeah, well I have the, I have, I actually have the bookshelf DIY now. Oh, you do? Cool. Yeah, and so I've been making bookshelves, but the thing is that like, since it was like winter time, I was oh, like, you like know what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to make an ice bar. Nice. So I got a bunch of the uh, the snowflake DIYs, um, and so like I I put like the the pool over there, and I put uh, like several um, ice counters like with like little bottles on top of them, uh -huh. like a bunch of like ice pillars, and I covered like the entire like outer wall with the uh, with the ice like uh, like. Uh, what's the word? Um, partitions. So it, it like it looks like the walls are covered in ice too. Mm -hmm. There's like a little fire pit area, and there's like a, there's a snowman bartender behind the uh, bar, and it's like great. Nice. I love that. So I, so yeah. I have that uh, near my museum. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember how to get through this. Oh, uh, I I definitely. Is there even anything up here? Hello. Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh, whoa. I guess it was just for that item. I think. I don't remember. I believe so. Yeah, there's it looks like it. yeah, there's something up there. I I kind of want to redo my entire island mm. to make it look like uh like Tokyo or something because mm. I've seen a lot of good ones of that. I'm like, ah, you know, it's kind of yeah. I need to change it up. <laughs> I, people, I like, need to. Some people are so freaking creative with their islands. I know. I, I really want to get to that level because I wanted to do like a more natural looking environment yes. at first. I'm like, you know what? I'm kind of not feeling it anymore. I forgot how good this movie move was. Like Tokyo Tomatoes. I mean, enemy. sometimes I do miss like the natural, the more natural feel of my island. Yeah. Sometimes I just want to lay in a big flower field. Yeah, exactly. But... I'm so glad you can sit <laughs> in the game. I, that's the funniest yeah. thing about the Animal Crossing community. You get excited over. You can sit. <laughs> you can sit in the game. You're you like, can sit. what? Yeah, you can sit. It's like, shouldn't that be like? Isn't that like in a mechanic in most games? Like. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Yeah, but, but no. you don't understand. Like before the hand, the villagers could sit, but you couldn't. And you so could sit now, with them. You could sit. <laughs> it's like we're the most like entertained audience in that community. Yeah, like Animal Crossing fans will go nuts over like the smallest. You things. could take you could take pictures. Well, like fake like the little emo of like, yeah, the, 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 the taking pictures. It's so emo. cute. I love it. Or doing yoga. It's like yeah. it's the simple things that it's make me happy. Things. Yeah, exactly. Or when the game was like first being announced, and they were like. Your character has kneecaps. <laughs> no, it's the it's the it's the smallest of things. Yeah. I need an item that can stop me from sleeping. Okay, let's see. Sign it. Oh, I can probably buy it. But yeah, come spring, like once uh once the winter weather goes away, I'm probably gonna that's when I'm probably going to finally like put my uh my library in. Yeah. It's not covered in snow. It's like look. Yeah. Books. <laughs> Books galore. I'll have. I definitely need to get 
more of the cherry blossom recipes this spring because mm -hmm. I got like one last spring. Right. Although the 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 Easter event kind of got in the way of that, but I've heard that they either already did or they're going to patch the Easter event to where there's not as many eggs. Thank God, that was terrible what, to, last year. Yeah, because having having the the cherry blossom and the Easter events overlap sucked. It it was pain. I hated it. Yeah. And I have a Japanese garden in my in my village. I, so... I want a Japanese garden. I love that so much. Yeah. Um, there we go. I don't Gay know, blade after. I don't know if I showed y'all. Uh, <laughs> no, you showed me. You showed oh, me. Oh yeah. It was okay. like a Zen sort of like theme thing. Wasn't yeah, it's it? like a Zen garden. I yeah. have a Godzilla statue up front. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I, I I definitely saw that. This place is like a huge puzzle. I swear. Where is? The, I need an item that can stop me from going to sleep. Which sounds really weird out of context, but this is Kingdom Hearts we're talking about. Nothing's. Yeah. Nothing's out of context when it comes to this game. <laughs> I mean, everything's actually out of context. Everything's out of context. Yeah. Like, my favorite line is from Kingdom Hearts, uh, Recoded. It's like, what happened to Sora? Oh wait, no, it's Riku! He has bugs in him! What?! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, out of all the out of context things, of course, that would be the weirdest one. Where I is... love out of context videos. As far I feel like especially when it comes to Kingdom Hearts, especially people who don't know Kingdom Hearts, they're like, what is this? Actually, can I make a new dream eater? What I've been uh, watching a lot of is Unus Honest out of context. <laughs> like I watched, I, I actually uh, I started watching them in like August, and I actually caught up with all their videos and then watched up till the end. I gotta say, I love this <laughs> cat, dog, boy, or girl. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> we stand non-binary. <laughs> we stand a non-binary queen. <laughs> I don't want a slug. I want a, I want the dinosaur. How do you make the dinosaur? Dinosaur's freaking cool. The dream eater thing reminds me of, um, I think me and Maria have mentioned this before. It reminds us of the Cathedral of Shadows in Shin Megami Tensei. Mm -hmm. What's what's the new one that's coming out? The the remaster? Uh, they're remastering three. Uh huh. Um, which I'm so excited for. Yeah. Uh, and I then, heard that one's really good. It is. Uh, four is really good as well. That's mm -hmm. on three. Yes. Which, I, I really want you- like, you could play 4 and have, like, no context whatsoever, I, and you, you 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 would be able to get it. Heck yeah. Um, if I can follow a series like Kingdom Hearts, I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, if, like, 4, if, like, if you're in ki kind of interested in Shin Megami Tensei, yeah. um, and you don't know where to start, I would honestly say 4. Because okay. it's one of the more recent games. Mm -hmm. Um, and also, it's one of the games where you don't really need the context of, like, the previous game. Like, sure, there's some things where you're you're gonna be like, what? What is this? Um, that, like, fans of the series would recognize immediately. Right. But the, it's kind of explained to you eventually if you go through down the right routes. Mm -hmm. um, oh, nice. Cure boost. But, yeah. uh, the Shin Megami games that are coming... <sighs> Just saying that, I, <laughs> I, I, I had, like, a shiver going on my spine. Shin Megami Tensei games, plural, that are coming out in 2021. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Two of Shin Megami Tensei games coming out in 2021. Technically, one is a remaster, but it's a de deeply needed remaster. Because three is great. Um, and then Shin Megami, Shin Megami Tensei 5, which I'm super excited true, for. Yeah, yeah. I'm super ex cuz what like what's the line that Satan says in the trailer that like I was like hell yeah I totally forgot Um let me see if I drop a Riku trailer I'm not going to play it out loud I'm just that <laughs> <laughs> plays it out loud <laughs> Well I didn't know my volume was out No you're good you're good I'm just going to scroll through it and like see where that uh what that line is yeah. Um, cause that line was so freaking dope. Like, when, <laughs> I, when I was watching the trailer, like, a shiver went down my spine. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say to me? Um. Oh, yeah, clean bonuses. But Sora's asleep right now. It can't be Sora right now. Cause of the plot. Yeah, it can't be Sora. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, like, literally, like, ten seconds into the trailer. Oh. Lucifer shows up and he's like, the god you worship is dead. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> That's what? a good line. What does that mean? <laughs> Why is that line so good? Well, the implications is that Shin Megami Tensei fan are pretty big. You're like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, forgot about that. Oh, he's finally dead? I'm very much excited. 
Because I, I, I do want to play Shin Megami Tensei, because I like it because the Persona, so it's the same, so. Like, Shin Megami Tensei is, like, one of those few series where, like, um, you kind of side with Lucifer. Interesting. <laughs> because God is such... Like, God's an asshole. <laughs> God is so shitty in the uh, Shin Megami Tensei series. That's funny. Like, he's literally, like, the boss of one of the games. That's or funny. a couple of the games. Well, it also depends on what route you go down. Like, if you're going down a chaos oh, yeah. route, like, God's gonna be the antagonist. If you're going down a wall route, you know, he's just gonna be the antagonist. That's cool. Um, but even then, it's not that black and white. Yeah. Because sometimes we'll go down the neutral route and God is still the adversary at the end. <laughs> We're finding a bee. <laughs> Sora, that isn't... You gotta save the bees, not beat the bees. <laughs> well, yeah. That was I... so easy. <laughs> I'm excited for Shin Megami Tensei this year. I'm just so excited. And also the Nier uh, remake of the first game. That's coming out this year too. Wait, the re oh, oh, remake of the first Nier game? Yeah. Oh. It plays this guy like, like on a mono. It looks fantastic. Oh, I might actually play that. I, I still need to do a Let's Play of on a mono, because I, I played a little bit on it on like, the stream once. A meteor. <laughs> Sora learned how to oh. throw meteors at people. I hope they remaster the first Nier game's uh, uh, soundtrack. I want to no, hear- No, they're, they're going to. I want to hear a remastered Shadow Lord. That's literally one of my- Shadow favorite. Lord is great. Shadow no. Lord is so good. It's literally one of my favorite uh, video game OSTs. It's- no, it's a great track. I, I love it. The world- I love this world so much. I mean, I like it- I like it a lot more in 2. The world that never was. Is the organization's world- Wait, isn't it like super edgy looking no, in 2? I mean, it's the same as it looks here. Yeah, but like in the, like, the cinematic cutscenes, it looks. Yes, it, that that was one of the secret endings for uh, the first game. Mm -hmm. I a lot of people like the theorize like they made such a cool thing, and then Tetsunomura was like, I gotta do something with this. <laughs> I made this cool looking like CG movie, but oh, it's my favorite boy, Zikmar. You know, this is this is really funny after beating Cage Three. <laughs> no spoilers, because this is. I mean, like, we can spoil every other Kingdom Hearts game besides- free zone. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll spoil every other Kingdom Hearts game besides I've 3. Even though i maybe probably spoiled something for someone at some point. <laughs> Just by us talking about stuff we like. That's true. I need to- I need to sh I need to show you the cutscenes for 3. I feel like you'll- let's you'll enjoy it. Cause that's how I got you- I always keep saying this, but that's how I got you in the Kingdom Hearts first. in the first place. Yeah, you gotta keep on with that tradition! Yeah. <laughs> Now like, we gotta watch three cutscenes. Like how I got her into Metal Gear by showing her the cutscenes. Which, with Metal we Gear, it's a lot more understandable because Metal Gear- It's already like a movie. It's literally like a movie. Whereas, like, sometimes I was lost watching Ever the Kingdom Hearts cutscenes, so I'd have I had to a guide you through. <laughs> yeah, she had to guide me through it. Whereas, like, you were pretty much, like, following right along with Metal Gear cutscenes. It's pretty easy, honestly. The man in the road. Like, there was some stuff that so was left out that I will explain to you. Dennis. Like, oh man, this boss fight that happens, like, right before this cutscene is, like, so awesome. It is, oh my Bingo. gosh. <laughs> Bingo! Bingo! Back in time to just before your home Bingo, became right. a sleeping <laughs> Only because a past version of you already existed there. So it's like, what? <laughs> Look how tiny Sora is! Well, that's like his cage yep. one look, but he still, he's so yeah. puny. He baby. That's ridiculous! <laughs> Sure is. But yeah, like, <laughs> Good delivery. No more I'm talking about like, oh, I created this cool thing. Actually, like, that's, my yeah, yeah. That. that's my favorite theory for that. That's my absolute favorite theory. It's like, I made this cool rock, thing. Oh shoot, I got it. Kind of Kingdom Hearts sold really well. I gotta Just put this, this in somehow. Yeah. The same Something that's always bothered me about Kingdom Hearts is that the world just feels so empty. Wake up, okay? Look, they fixed that in 3. No <laughs> I can tell you that. The parts of the Caribbean world in 3 is fantastic. Oh yeah. Like I saw- It's great. I saw- Cutscenes from the Pirates of the Caribbean world, and I'm like, it's even more hyper realistic so than what? ever. Well, it's great. Know who to blame for it. Yeah, beat him up. Beat up Zigbar. Bar Gabori. Mm -hmm. I see you still got that angry look down. But here is where I tag out. You know, this game actually does explain why Zigbar has pointy ears. <laughs> Wait, it does? Yeah! Zikmar has pointy ears. He has like elf ears. Yeah, I know, but like, why? Like, they explain. I mean, I mean, they don't explain why he has it, but I understand why he has it now with the context of everything. Because, you know, they're trying to make, like, multiple, like, Xehanorts. Oh, okay. ah! <laughs> Just like in one! <laughs> oh, I, got a, I, I took too much, uh, uh, what's... Nyquil. Uh, Nyquil Zikmar. 
No, Riku would be a NyQuil person. Sora would be like, I love it early. Pleasant dreams, kiddo. Night, night. <laughs> Dream. Sora dreams, and he dropped to the ground, and there was a little bit of distance. <laughs> See, Sora's six feet. He knows how to social distance. Ah, hot boy on the beach. Do, 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 do. Hot boy on the beach. Do, 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 do. It's the rope from the first game. I'm here to tell you that you can time travel. <laughs> yes. This was where it started. You're not Riku. You have white hair like him, I but mean, you're look not at, him. Look at this cutscene no and what, like tell me that you still don't understand why people don't understand Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Here's the thing. I think people didn't understand Kingdom Hearts just because it was so hard to access. Because it was on so many platforms. Literally, there's a massive Kingdom Hearts collection out right now that you could understand everything all in one. You have to you have to think about it that all these games were released pretty distance from one another, so it was yeah. it was hard to keep in track of everything. It was like they were di they were released pretty far apart, and also you couldn't Man. really tell the difference between what was a sequel, <laughs> you really what couldn't. was a prequel, what was a remake, yes. what was a remake plus a little the extra, like <laughs> mentioned me. That me. My world was swallowed by the darkness. Remember Cage One? I do. Through time, I gotta beat that game in critical. <laughs> Like I said, I'm gonna my my challenge for like future Kingdom Hearts games is to beat them all in the highest critical, <laughs> just to make me go insane. <laughs> I mean, I beat two in the critical yeah. mode. It's gonna be all the extra stuff. Saying? I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> like, if, if you've been happen. playing like a game series for long no, enough, like you, you wanna like remember, complete it to its Anson fullest. Mm -hmm. Miku and saw his experiences in real time. It's like, wow, it's like so how I mentioned earlier that, that like when so I. How did he know Pokemon I would Platinum, be here today? Mm -hmm. And I got master rank in all of the contests. Gosh, uh, yes. In all the contests. I was like, I'm so- Oh god! <laughs> that, was, that was an Sorry. achievement. Sorry, I saw Kyrie flying at the screen and got really scared. I was like, ah! Sorry, it was like a Freddy Fazbear thing from like freaking <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's. It kind of startled me a bit. But yeah, no, I totally agree, 100%. I'm like, oh my god, my Empoleon was the coolest. <laughs> getting that- getting that, uh... I oh, forget the name of the badge that you get for like. It's like the getting... master, or like the, for like the. Yeah, it's like the master rank. badge. Like, <laughs> I remember it being like so beautiful. So many boys. I oh, know it wasn't a badge; it was a ribbon. Yeah, it was a ribbon. Yeah, the ribbon. I was... love the ribbons; they're so cute. It's raining, baby boys. I remember that. Um... A POV, you or Sora. <laughs> <laughs> I even remember what Pokemon I used to be all of the uh, contests. I think I used my Lucario a lot. Do you know what I use to uh, beat all of the uh, contests? Many times. Rose Raid? I don't know. Myelotic. That makes sense, because Myelotic is like perfectly made for the contest. Yeah. I mean, the only way he can evolve the Feebas is by boosting yeah, like maximum beauty, so it's already a winner on that. But yeah, like switching out its moves so that it have enough uh, like smart moves or cute moves depending on what yeah. bad or what ribbon I was going for. Mm-hmm. The uh, the stars going out. <laughs> Look at that. I think when this game was made, it was Kingdom Hearts' tenth anniversary. So there's a lot of references to the first game. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I think it was this because this game came out in 2012. Yeah. So I think it would be ten years. No <laughs> POV. Let's go. <laughs> Where's Sora? <laughs> My big old shoes. <laughs> Where's Sid? Where's oh, Leon? Yeah, 2012 was like peak video. <laughs> Huh? 2012 was like peak. It was. Oh my god. And then we got uh, the first 3D Pokemon game in 2013. I remember seeing those trailers, like, introducing Pokemon now in 3D. I was like, this is so cool. Yeah. Mega Evolutions? Wow. And then you go back and, like, play 6 and you're like, oh. Wow, this is really uh, barren. <laughs> you're like, this, there's so much missing. This game is, like, so streamlined. It really was. It doesn't look that great. It really doesn't. Which is odd because uh, the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire games look actually look pretty good. They still look pretty good. They're not exactly the same as uh, X and Y. Like yeah. the, 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 the designs were slightly different. And also the, it's not chibi because yeah. the, well, the it's, it's, human designs were like more chibi-esque. It's chibi but not as chibi as yeah, yeah. Uh, X and Y. No, I was talking about X and Y. Yeah, they, oh, they yeah. had a more chibi look to it. Yeah, they they definitely upgraded from the models when it went to the remake. Yeah, which I'm hoping is what it's gonna be like for the Gen Four remake. Yeah, like I don't have too many issues with the uh, 
the Switch generation um, engine as it is right now. Mm. It's just that the amount of work that's put into each game yeah. is kind of lackluster. I just want them to take their time. They don't need to release yeah. a new Pokemon game well, every the, year. The thing is that they kind of don't have a choice in that. That's because true. It's the, a company thing. The thing about Pokemon is that they have to... Uh, they have to sync it up with all other facets of the Pokemon, uh, like, is brand. It the, is it the anime also really tied to when the games come out? Yes. Like, yeah. so, they have to tie, tie it in with the games, and yeah. with the card games, and, like, such all a, that stuff. Such a weird system. The movies. Like, yeah, the they, movies. With they the, have, the monkey. <laughs> and even just the merch. Like, they have to, they have to sync everything together. And the games are, like, required to come out at a certain time. Yeah, it's a weird system that yeah. I really don't like, actually. So <laughs> that's where I give Game Freak slack. Mm -hmm. um, as far as, like, the development issues with Gen 8. Right. I mean, there's some stuff where it's like, come on, guys. Like, yeah. Which, uh, Why does the tree trees look like it's from the Nintendo 64? <laughs> really though, like some some of the wild area looks like like Ocarina. Of it Pokemon. does. It really does. And I think the thing that really disappointed me were the character animations because oh, yeah. they were just ripped from the 3DS games. Yeah, um, I was so disappointed. I don't mind the models being the same. It's just the animations need to be updated. And some of the models don't look good with their animated stuff. Like there's a there's a really good uh, analysis video. Like between, remember Pokemon Re uh, Battle Revolution? Yeah. Their idol animations, they were so great. And that see, that was done by a company that wasn't Game Freak. And the thing is, I need, I think Game Freak needs. It needs more. a partnership. It needs either a partnership or, well, I mean, they do, they do have other companies that work on their games. Like, you could see it in the credits, there's, like, other companies yeah, yeah. that come in and help with certain things. Yeah. Um, but really, I think they need more, like, in-house Game Freak employees working on, which I, Game Freak has new offices now. Yes, it's massive, and it looks really pretty. <laughs> it, it does. It's I like a it. foresty area. I'm like, dang, I want an office what, like that. What if we kissed in the Labrador Town conference room? Yeah, <laughs> that would be ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, like I, I unless Game, Game, Freak, Game Freak has these like big new like gorgeous offices. Maybe that's so, what they needed. They needed a nice scenery. <laughs> I'm, I'm ho and I'm hoping that that means that they're going to be hiring more people because they need more people to work on these games. Yes, absolutely. You, you know, I feel like you know why. So Sword and Shield had so many issues because they remember they had most of their big team work on Little Town. <laughs> That one Game Freak, remember the- you forgot. Oh, yeah, yeah, Game Freak had another game that it, simultaneously. It sucked. <laughs> yeah. It, it didn't sell, it wasn't that great from what I've heard. Yeah. Yeah, like, they, had, they had their biggest people working on that I game. I understand the frustration uh, that a uh, game company like that can have with like being known for only one series. Which is fair. I, I, I'm totally fine with companies expanding to like new IPs. But... But you also have a series in which it's finally come- it's the main title of a series that's finally yeah. coming to a next-gen console. So, yeah. I, people are expecting like, a lot out of it, as I, I was, to it's, be honest. It, like, it's fine to, to break into new IPs and create something original. Of course, yeah. But you also have to remember that you're the company that you have the is most responsible for making literally a billion dollar franchise. It's literally the biggest franchise out there. Yeah. Probably like, the biggest like franchise. Actually, like, um, sales-wise, Pokemon is like one of the biggest. It's the biggest, yes. Yeah, yeah it's the biggest franchise, actually. See, yeah, I know yeah. what chart you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, tech true, they're not, like, a lot of that is from, like, merchandise and cards. Yeah. And, like, Game Freak has nothing to do with that. Of course, which but, you know, helps a bit. the games are still, like... They still sell a like, lot. Important. The games are still pretty important. You know a game that looks fantastic that, uh... I don't know if it's coming out this year. Pokemon Snap 2. Oh, yeah. That looks gorgeous. The graphics yeah. there are amazing. I'm like, see, this is what Wait. happens when you get extra help. And, <laughs> and also another company to help you out. Yeah, too. it's not, I, mean, I think, isn't it being completely done by another company? It's just being overseen by Game Freak? I, either that, I think it might be done by a different company. Yeah. I forgot what company it is. A lot of those, uh... Spin-off games are just completely done by a different company and just kind of overseen by Game Freak. I forgot the company that did all like the Mystery Dungeon games. It was the one Ooh. with the dog logo, whatever. I'm trying to remember what company that was, Ooh, but let me look that up. Yeah, you know which one I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's a weird logo. It's like a dog feeding like chickens or something. I don't know. It's a really weird logo, but yeah. That was the one I was talking about. Is it about. How Laboratory? Yeah, it's How Laboratory. 
I think, yeah, me, I think it's Hal Avatar. Let me double check. I don't know. I know, I know the logo is like a dog. <laughs> like laying down feeding like chickens. <laughs> or like birds. I don't know. Maybe they're dogs. I'm not sure. Maybe puppies. Actually, I don't... Mm, it's showing Chunsoft. Hmm. I'm thinking about like Explorers of Sky when I think about like uh, uh let me look that up. Yeah yeah yeah. Um More Lucius in trouble. No There we go. Um No, it's uh the developer for uh Explorers of Sky was Chunsoft. Oh maybe, maybe how laboratories like helped on it. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Because um, that's like one of the first logos that like pop up when you boot up the game. That's, yeah. That's probably what I was those, thinking. Because those spin-off games are done by, like, several different companies. Yeah. Who is developing the new Pokemon Snap game, I wonder? Um, yeah. yeah. I'm not 100% um, on... But yeah, as far as what I was gonna say about uh, Gen 4, is that, like, um... We, we have high expectations for Gen 4. Yes. As I'm sure as many other people do. Absolutely. Because Gen 4 is, I think, one of the most rabidly beloved yes, generations. Absolutely. And it had a lot of great spin-off games for But it. yeah, gen like, people go feral over gen Generation 4. I do too. It's like, my favorite. Platinum is consistently considered one of the best Pokemon games. Yeah. Um, also, the remake of Parkle and Soul Silver came during that era, which yeah. was fantastic. Like, it was a great DS, remake. The DS era of Pokemon games is probably like, the best era. Yes, absolutely. Um... And I'm sure there's- And they got Pokebar! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's Gen 1ers who would, like, uh, who would deny that, but honestly, like, sales-wise and reception-wise, like, the DS Pokemon games are- Absolutely. The best. Um, uh, let's see, Pokemon Snap 2, let me see who's developing that. Uh, yeah. But yeah, like, and I think that, um, we were talking about this before we started recording. Yeah. I think that with the Gen 4 remakes, um, oh yeah, we were talking about the maps and stuff. Yeah, like, there's just, for the past couple generations, it's just felt like there was something off or different about the way that they designed and laid out the... Laid is very lazy in a lot of newer Pokemon games. Yeah, and like, some people will contest that, but I think that what will really show that is the Gen 4 remakes. Absolutely. Because Sinnoh is a, like, is like a masterclass in region layout, like, map design for a game. Yeah. Like, the Sinnoh region is just, like, fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, it feels huge, even though it's technically not. Yeah, it's really and, not that like, big. like, the way that the story moves you around the map is, like, just... It, it lets you discover everything. It lets you take your time with the area. Yeah. I died. <laughs> well, there's so many nooks, it, there's so many nooks and crannies and things to discover in Sinnoh, and, like, there are times... Where I legit got lost. Yeah, no, I did too. Like, Mount, <laughs> Mount Coronet is a maze. I love it, though. Like, the music. Also, can we talk about the music in that game? Yes. The music in that game's fantastic. I mean, I love Gen 5 music, but I'm super yeah. nostalgic for Gen uh, 4 well, music. Well, I actually, controversial opinion, mm -hmm. I think Gen 5's music is, music is better. No, I, you know what? I've been re-listening to a little bit of Gen 5 music. I gotta say, you're right. <laughs> Gen 5 goes off. Gen 4's music is nostalgic, but literally Gen 5's music does go off. Yeah. I love those meme videos. It's like whenever you're like, you're, you're low on health. <laughs> That's the yeah. best low health music I've ever heard. Like, it Dude, also- Dude, 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 Another thing Dude, I didn't notice Dude. until replaying Gen 5 is that when you're winning a fight, the music changes. Yes! I love that little detail. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I remember you telling me when they first came out, you hated Gen 5. Oh yeah, I hate I hated Black and White when it first came out. Mm -hmm. And I played it when it first came out. Yeah. I gave it a chance. I beat the game and I didn't like it. Especially considering it was following up one of my favorite that's Pokemon true. games. Maybe that's why a lot of people just felt so disappointed by it when it came out. Yeah. Because there was that high win when it came to Gen 4 and, and then also, Gen 5 it like started over because it was kind of like a soft reboot. Yeah, and the sprites were so different. I love the sprites. And like looking back on it, the sprite work. The sprite work's amazing in that game. fantastic. It's probably my favorite out of all the gens. I think it's just like back then it looked so chunky. Like the sprites, like when, especially when you're looking at your Pokemon, yeah. like you're seeing the sprites so close up. Yeah. That <clears throat> it like, it just looks like really low res. Yeah. I mean, it's a sprite, so it is low res. Yeah, of course. But you know what I mean. Like, yeah. Because yeah. in Gen 4, when you would look at your Pokemon, like the resolution was like slightly different. Like, yeah, yeah. It wasn't just like the, the same Pokemon sprite flipped. Yeah. Um, but I mean, the, the sprite animations are really great. But they, they had so much character to them. My oh, gosh. Yeah. And um, with 
There's something, another thing that turned me off with Gen 5 was, uh... Jesus Christ, who's doing that? <laughs> was the Pokemon designs. Because mm. they were so different from any other region. Right. And also, it was like, you could only use Pokemon from that region. I also kind of like that at the oh, same yeah, time. Yeah, like, now I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Especially with the whole, like, National Dex debacle. I hate that. It's like, you don't need every Pokemon you in don't. every game. You really don't. Like, it's good to have some Pokemon returning. Yeah, like, of course. Like, ones- Because I feel like, uh, especially with Pokemon Platinum, like, Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, like, they had Pokemon from other generations that came back. Oh, absolutely. But they felt like they belonged in that region. <laughs> Where are the fire types? <laughs> True. Uh, but they felt like they belonged in that region. Yeah. Uh, there's only Rabidash besides like, choosing Chinchar. Like, <laughs> like, I know Milotic is like a Gen 3 Pokemon, but it, feel, but it fits really it well. It feels at home in Sinnoh. Yeah, Jesus, I'm gonna try again. Um, and just again. like <laughs> the need to have every Pokemon in the, the the that's another thing where I'll give I'll give Game Freak slack. It's like you really don't need to have every Pokemon in every generation. Yeah. Um, Cause sometimes it doesn't even make any sense. So like, why is Pokemon about it there? Yeah, I understand the. The want for people to bring their old Pokemon into the new game and use them in the new game, yeah. but like, I feel like that's such a small amount of people. That yeah. Like that. yeah. Um, whereas I feel like you can really make a like flesh out a region's like oh my God. theme and character through the Pokemon that you choose to bring over to the new generation. Yeah. Um, even like in Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon. Like, the whole theme of that, I forget who pointed this out, I saw it in a video essay. The whole theme of that, um, region is invasive species. Exactly. <laughs> and then so you have the sense. entire national decks available! No, I don't think Sun and Moon had the national decks. It did. It did? Yeah. You How could... did it didn't? Yeah. It did. Or was it Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon that didn't have it? it? You had it available in both games. That's why it was such a big deal in Gen 8 that the whole ne national decks was unavailable. Oh. Huh. It, that's why people were making such a big stink about it, because that was the first time in, like, forever oh. that you couldn't get all the Pokemon. Weird, I find it didn't exist in Gen 7. Um, but, no, it was Gen 8, because I remember, like, you could get every Pokemon, uh, in... Oh, I, now I remember what I was looking up earlier. I was looking up the developers for, uh... Oh, yeah, uh, two. Two. Electric um, Boogaloo. I'm a side item. <laughs> uh, let's see. Developer. Yeah. Bandai Namco. <laughs> oh dang, yeah. Um, they made the fighting game. Like the Tekken style fighting game, I believe. Oh, Pokken! Yeah, Pokken. Pokken's fun. Pokken is fun. Uh, I main Weavile. I I think I main Sceptile. Yeah. Sceptile's fun. I like Sceptile. But Weavile- Empoleon! I forgot Empoleon! We Weavile so fast. You know what? I want that to be the first episode of uh, Let's Make People Fight. We gotta, we gotta play uh, Poke- uh, Cause I have the game. We gotta play Pokemon. Yeah. I have it too. Yeah, yeah, I really wanna play it. Um, Jesus. I, but yeah, what I was gonna I say about the region is that, uh, I feel like the region- the, 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 so, like, the more recent region designs, like, I feel like it's gonna really show kind of how, like, and I hate to call Game Freak lazy. I hate to, like, because I, I know there's so much work that goes into these games. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy for me as a fan to just be like, oh, this, like, y'all are really slacking on this, huh? Yeah. But I mean, I feel like the, like... I we, think it's the company situation. I don't think it's, like, the producers, because I yeah. think they're just trying their best. Because I'm sure, like, as a, someone, as a creator... Like, yeah, same. I'm, I'm an artist. I same. understand... <laughs> the the pain of not being able to fully uh develop your vision due to uh time restraint totally it sucks i hate it i understand uh crunch and like having to get something done in a certain amount of time and you may not be able to make it to the the degree that you want like the dead yeah make yeah. it to that dead uh, yeah basically. um especially when you're working with a team of yeah. people it's yeah. even more difficult to realize your vision in that yeah. in that way absolutely but i feel like a lot of the problems that i have with pokemon are in the development stage yeah development stage the, totally the, the layout of the region and like i feel like that's really going to be noticed 
in the Gen 4 remakes. The Gen 4 remakes are like a one-to-one -one true recreation of uh, Gen 4. Yeah. Because Gen 4, Gen 4 is math. Gen 4 is region. It's like a master class in uh, RPG like map design. Yes. Like I said, because it's like there's so many nooks and crannies. There's so many Got things it. to discover. Like it. It doesn't feel cyclical. It doesn't feel like you're on one single path. But it feels like you can. There's multiple ways you can get to a certain place, and it takes you. The story takes you all over the map. Pretty much throughout yeah. the game. Like you're visiting many, many places on the map multiple times throughout your gameplay. Yeah. Whereas I feel like in a lot of other Pokemon games, you you rarely ever go to the same place twice. My most disappointed place in Gen Eight was like the forest. Oh yeah. That was such a nice. Lead. That was such a disappointment. I hate it. Even the forest town. I like, hated it. The towns in Gen 8, like, feel so I empty. hate it, yeah, I don't like it. Um, but yeah, like, I feel like when the Gen 4 remakes come out, if they actually yeah, do- Yeah, if they, if they do, yeah. If they do it justice and actually, like, remake it to its full extent and they don't cut anything, mm -hmm. I think it's really gonna come to fr like, people are gonna really realize just how lazy the region is design has been for the past couple generations. Also, we can, can we get some better villains? Thank you. <laughs> and I'm not I... talking about, like, um... Oh, yeah, the villains, the, too. The villain in Gen 8 was not good. <laughs> it was not good. It was kind of... It was so predictable. Of course Rose was gonna and, be the freaking villain. And even Gen 7, to an extent, you're like, oh, the goody two-shoes uh, <laughs> environmentalist, I wonder... <laughs> I wonder as predictable as it was, I did like how yeah. the characters were in that game. Yeah, Gen 7, Gen 7, Gen 7 is saved by its characters, and it, even I will admit, the Alola region is a very good region. It's just it, is. it feels very hallway-y. Like, it, it, it's taking you down a single path. Uh, you re very rarely backtrack, despite the fact that it's laid out it like, in, a, in a very... Uh, Say with Gen 6, like, like literally. In Gen 7, like, um, each island, despite it being, like, uh, very interconnected, and, yeah. like, you, you end up in the same places a, a lot of times twice, Yeah. The, the way that the story moves you through the region is very, like, one direction, one path. Like, yeah. it's, like, pulling you, like, it feels like you're going down a hallway, even though it's not. Yeah, I hate it. And that's what I mean by region design. Like... Sure, the routes in 6 and 7 have a lot of character, mm -hmm. but, like, if you break it down to, like, a maze, mm -hmm. like, just, a, just like, like, the very base, like, layout of it, it's kind of empty. It's kind of bad. Bad. <laughs> Bad game design. And this isn't just nostalgia speaking, because you and I have replayed Gen 4. Yes, and it still holds up to this multiple day. Multiple times over the years. Yeah. I'm replaying Gen 5 right now, and even that region's design is way better than like 6, 7, and 8. I don't know, I feel like there's like a lot of character when it even comes to like Gen 5's design a yeah. lot. Especially like compared to like the gens of today. And even they they, they mix up the map in uh, Gen Five because you have that sequel. Yeah. Um, Which the sequel's great. Because <laughs> like in the first game you start on one end of the map, and in the sequel you start on the entire other side of the map, and there's like tons of other places you can go. Which I love. In the region, like they added stuff. Yeah, I really like to a lot. But yeah, like so, it feels like an actual sequel. <laughs> yeah, with Gen Four, it's like. We've, replayed it several times over the years and it still holds up and like it's not just we never got back to that let's play though <laughs> we didn't um, um yeah and if anyone's like what like uh if you scroll far far enough back if you were at rachel's the beginning channel, of this channel if you, you scroll far back in rachel's channel like for the 20th anniversary uh we started the let's play was it a nuzlocke no it was just a regular like platinum let's play okay i thought it was like a nuzlocke no 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 i think we we discussed doing a nuzlocke i'll do a nuzlocke like x and y because it's easy <laughs> oh yeah I, I'm the only that's the old. That's another big issue with Pokemon. The few, the newer games are so easy. Yeah, like uh, the the uh, permanent EXP share. I hate it. Like makes it too easy. It like, really does. Like, There's no like, challenge. Gen eight, you can't turn it off. Yeah, Gen eight, you can't turn it off. It's stupid. There's yeah. no difficulty to it whatsoever. That's why doing a Nuzlocke in that game is like 
Yeah, no, I, easy. <laughs> like, the only time I've ever successfully done a Nuzlocke was in Gen 6. And that's because, A, there's so many Pokemon yeah. on so many, ra like, areas and routes, and you have the EXP share to, like, buff your party the entire time. Also, also, can we please stop with the Gen 1 pandering? It's 2021. Oh, please yeah. and thank you. <laughs> I like Gen 1. Don't get me wrong. But please, enough of it. It's annoying. Let's just keep making regional Pokemons only out of Gen 1. You know, there's a little bit of like. It's like, we get it. Ones. You like Charizard. <laughs> That's the big. I like Charizard. It, it, it kind of it kind of ruins it for me. I yeah. love Charizard. The Megas were cool, but like. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> Why am I sucking so bad? The Megas were cool, but like once you get into like Dynamaxing, it's like, oh, Charizard again? Really? It's that one meme. It's like the two ladies yelling at the cab just replaced with Venusaur and Bubble Sword. Uh, yeah, Venusaur yeah. Blast Choice Venusaur and then Charizard. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love that meme. It's like, that's so true. Also, I'm so sorry I'm sucking at this game right now. <laughs> Forget how kind of tough this game is. Honestly, like this, like you, you know this game in and out. I already know the story, and like I, I can't play Kingdom Hearts for shit. <laughs> um, so like this, uh, this LP is like almost like a podcast. Yeah, it's fun. I like it. it. I it's like still it. fun. Yeah, it's still fun. I'm sure that like, and the thing is, we've we've completely forgotten like what we've talked about in past like episodes of the series. Yeah. So I'm sure if like someone in the future like finds your channel and they're like, oh cool, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. <laughs> and then they, they, they watch through it, like, like wow, this is the really entire thing. <laughs> They're talking about things that they already talked about. It's like, I know. Yeah. We've probably discussed Pokemon and the whole, like, new gen suck thing, yeah. like, four times. Probably have. It's just that we've been playing this game for, like... This started back in 2017. Oops. We've been, oops, we've been playing this game for three years. Oops. Okay, after I beat these enemies, I'm moving on with the plot. <laughs> these enemies are being stupid. Keep killing me. But yeah, I I mean, kudos to having a Dynamax being a Gen 5 Pokemon of a Pokemon that no one really likes, Garbodor. Yeah. Which yeah. actually, you know what? Unpopular opinion, I think Garbodor is cute. That, yeah, that surprised me. I think uh, Trubbish is cute, but Trubbish I, I don't like Garbodor. I still don't like Garbodor. I forgot the shiny looks like for Garbodor. Oh my god, go up. Riku, up. <laughs> Not down. Although, James Turner, uh design Garbodor, mm -hmm. so I understand why he'd want a Dynamax of it. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, oh my god. Uh, and for anyone who doesn't know, uh, James Turner, he designed some of the Gen 5 Pokemon, the, a lot of the uh, very disliked Pokemon, and he was also the uh, art director for Gen 8. Yeah. So, it makes sense that there'd be a little bit of Gen 5 love in there. Yeah.